Deputy President William Ruto has been under criticism for enjoying expensive, luxurious flights to four African states. A mission he explained vaguely. How to expand uh, intra-African trade and relationship, take common positions in IGAD, in uh, AU, in the UN on matters that are of mutual benefit. The urgency with which the mission was treated did not correspond with the importance of the mission for Kenya. These are discussions from the African Union and African Union Summit is going to happen I think next week in uh, Addis Ababa. Could Deputy President William Ruto have been on shuttle diplomacy to discuss issues regarding the Kenyan ICC cases? And if so, of what importance are the four countries that he visited in pushing the Kenyan agenda regarding the ICC? If you look, for instance, at the Central African Republic, it's a member of the Security Council, African Security, uh, Union Security Council. If you look at Nigeria, Nigeria has a lot of influence within ECOWAS. Uh, if you look at Gabon, Gabon is also very influential uh, within uh, basically Anglophone countries, I mean uh, Francophone countries. There are indications that suggest that Kenya has the support of countries in East and South Africa. He was in South Africa and I think um, uh, Jacob Zuma uh, you know, seems to have dofted well with the Kenyatta administration even coming for his inauguration and all that. And so the remaining bloc is West Africa and visits to these countries imply that the president and his deputy are planning to use Pan-Africanism to present their agenda. I mean the whole of the African continent really know that uh, of course uh, the president and the deputy president of the Republic of Kenya are suspects of ICC. And uh, therefore, um, it would be important to go and explain you know, to your friends that this is how we intend to handle this uh, and perhaps seek support uh, uh, within the context of Pan-Africanism or African solidarity. Um. With the African Union Summit having started yesterday, it doesn't come as a shock that Ruto would hurriedly cover all the four countries so as to meet the requirement for presenting an agenda before the summit. It's a procedure. Uh, you present the agenda to the Secretariat, then the Council of Ministers Foreign Affairs meet. They have to make a consideration whether this is going to be the agenda, of course, before the heads of states and government summit. Owing to the fact that the decision to pull out from the Rome Statute lies in the sovereignty of the individual states, the only thing that Kenya can do is to lobby the African states to support the termination of the Kenyan ICC cases. Charity Wermangi for JSO at 7.